Decades after the vicious murders of two Toronto women, police have made an arrest. The suspect is now 61 years old and was tracked down in northern Ontario. Investigators say it was DNA technology that cracked this cold case wide open. Joseph George Sutherland, 61 years of age, of Moussigny, has been charged under the 1983 criminal code with two counts of first-degree murder for the deaths of Aaron Gilmore and Susan Tice. That announcement came nearly four decades after the two Toronto women were sexually assaulted and stabbed to death in separate attacks. 45-year-old Susan Tice, a social worker and mother of four, was found in the bedroom of her Bloor and College Street apartment back in August of 1983. Four months later, and just four kilometers away, the body of 22-year-old Erin Gilmore was discovered inside her home in Yorkville. Today, Erin's younger brother spoke about the incredible pain this has caused their family. Family. It was an incredible life to be lived that was taken away from her and the rest of us. We will always wonder what could have been and miss her presence and miss growing old with her. At the time of the murders, investigators had their eyes on numerous persons of interest, but the cases eventually went cold. Then in the year 2000, DNA technology was able to link both murders to one unknown suspect. Lead detective Stephen Smith says it was ultimately the investigative process of checking the DNA sample against a database from an ancestry website that made the arrest possible. Numerous investigators have worked on this case. Um, going through this case, I'll tell you that the only way that this was solved was the advances in science. We were able to use investigative genetic genealogy to narrow down a suspect family, and from there we were able to narrow down a suspect who is obviously under arrest today. Police say Joseph George Sutherland was served with a warrant for his DNA before being arrested by the OPP on Thursday at his home in Moosonee, Ontario. It's believed he was living in Toronto at the time of the murders and has lived in many other locations. That suspect has been in Ontario for 39 years since these murders. So obviously we're going to look into every possible connection to any possible case throughout Ontario to ensure that he isn't responsible for any other offenses. Toronto police are now working with a three-year grant from the Solicitor General's office, allowing them to focus on investigative genetic genealogy and hire full-time experts. Right now, there's about 700 cold cases in Toronto, and 43 of them have a link to suspect DNA. The IgG in this case has just showed us that uh, previously unsolvable cases are now solvable by the advances with science. Police say the suspect was never on their radar and did not have a criminal record, so finding him would have been nearly impossible. Joseph George Sutherland will make his next court appearance at Old City Hall on December 9th. Outside Toronto Police Headquarters, Shauna Hunt, City News.